Welcome to a special edition of The Edge. Many of us are looking for guidance on how to move forward after last week's tragedies, the ambush that killed five police officers in Dallas, and the police shootings in the days before that that killed two black men, Philando Castile in St. Paul, Minnesota, and Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. In Dallas, at an interfaith service for the five slain police officers, President Obama implored Americans to fight cynicism and find the will to move forward and invest in a better future. We also know what Chief Brown has said is true, that so much of the tensions between police departments and minority communities that they serve is because we ask the police to do too much and we ask too little of ourselves. He urged people, get out of your comfort zone. We cannot even talk about these things. If we cannot talk honestly and openly, not just in the comfort of our own circles, but with those who look different than us or bring a different perspective, then we will never break this dangerous cycle. And he said, open your hearts. With an open heart, we can worry less about which side has been wronged and worry more about joining sides to do right. You might also find more guidance by replaying a Nowcast essay video from San Antonio Peace Laureate's Living Room Conversation on Race. Using parallel stories from the Bible and the Koran, the convener, Imam Omar Sakir, discussed what he believed to be the origins of racism. All of the angels bowed, but not so Iblis. He refused. He thought he was better. He said, I am better than he. So at the risk of sounding oversimplistic, the first racist was Satan. If you're like me, you also might want to look to columnist Carrie Clack to help us all through this tragedy. On Nowcast SA, you can go back and replay Carrie's TEDx talk on Martin Luther King and nonviolence. Dr. King's definition of nonviolence, Carrie says, was love in action. And it may be too late for the man who sang his blues to Martin, but deep in my heart, I do believe love in action is a salvation for us all. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of The Edge.